Okay, it's seven o'clock. Uh, I'll call this uh, meeting of the Yellow Springs Board of Zoning Appeals into session. Um, Judy, would you take the roll, please? I would indeed. Reed. Here. Jacobs. Here. Pilata. Here. Salmonson. Here. Zoff. Here. Also present is Planning and Zoning Administrator Denise Swinger and Raven Behrens will be hosting the meeting tonight. Thank you, Judy. Uh, so we have a re uh, an agenda uh, that was distributed. We have two public hearings tonight and uh, nothing else. Um, is there any additions, deletions, rearrangement? We actually not uh, Matt, just have one public hearing and then just, um, it's just- Oh, Susan's request is not a public hearing? No. Gotcha. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I understand there are no communications. Is that correct? No, no communications. No, okay. Uh, next item is a review of the minutes. Um, this was from our last meeting with, uh, let's see, Richard, you were there and so was Anthony. I was. So, um, if you had the opportunity to review these uh, very detailed and thorough minutes. I have and I move that we accept them. Second. Very good. Um, Anthony, do you have any comments on the minutes? No, I do not. All right. Do you want to second Richard's motion? I second the motion. Um, did, did, I'm sorry, Richard, I, did you move to adopt? If you move to adopt, everyone can vote on them. Yeah, I move to adopt. Thank you. Uh, you need to call the roll. Yeah, yes, we're ready. Okay. Or can we just do this as a voice vote? Uh, Let's just do a voice vote. Voice vote if you just hold up your hand as well, and I can see you in case I can't. Yay. See. All Should yay. I abstain since I wasn't at the meeting? Because it's uh, moving to adopt, you do not have to abstain. You can act, You can vote on it. Uh, they were so detailed, I felt like I was at the meeting. After I, I, know. I know, I have the same feeling. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> wow. uh, any any uh, nays? All right, thank you. And thanks, Judy. Again, those are great minutes. Thank you. Uh, next item is a, a request um, on a, for an extension on the variance for 200 uh, West South College. Uh, Denise, do you want to just start us off here for a few seconds? Yeah, uh, Susan um, <clears throat> had just uh, contacted me and just said that, you know, by the time she, she didn't get the opportunity to start construction due to, I mean, you, this had already been um, approved. You um, allowed for a variance um, on the side yard setback um, and, um, or back, backyard setback. Anyway, um, she, because of COVID, they just really couldn't uh, uh, get around to doing construction this year. So they're postponing it to next year. So she's just asking for an extension. <clears throat> we allow that under conditional uses. It's not, um, at, it's not actually in the BZA code, but in talking with the um, solicitor, um, she said you can also request it through the BZA, just as you do for um, planning commission types of cases. So that is not in the BZA code. No. Okay. But you can still, <clears throat> she felt very strongly that, you know, you can still go ahead and, and make that request just as you can for the planning code. Well, whoever's keep, keeping notes on code revision, that might be a good thing to uh, add. Yeah. So uh, Susan Allen, do you want to say anything? Um, I don't really have a lot to say, just what Denise said is that um, because of our ages and I have asthma, that when the pandemic started, we just felt that uh, we didn't, weren't comfortable moving ahead with the building and everything we'd have to do, uh, all the meetings and then trying to sell our house. So we decided to wait a year. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Denise or Susan? Yeah, there's two questions. There's, there's been no changes to the plan, I'm assuming, and then I'm, I'm also going to assume that the neighbors are fine, correct? There have been no changes to the plans. 
we had we had told the neighbors, uh, the one Katie who had written uh, the letter. We told them that we were not going to be building until next year, and the the husband Jeremy indicated, you know, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I move. I move to approve. Yeah. Any other further comments? Um, if not, I'll second the motion. I have All right, question. Richard, seconds. I have a question. Yeah, Tony. Um, as I read the Exhibit A, maybe I'm reading it wrong. The structure in the walls of the building will be within the... Oh, no, no, no. the wrong thing. Disregard, I read it wrong. Yeah, different, different, different topic. All right, with that, um, you want to call the roll, Judy? Indeed. Zoff. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Pilata. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. Reed. Yes. Thank you. Great. Thanks, thanks folks. Very much. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. All right. The next item on the agenda is our public hearing for a variance um, uh, regarding dimensional requirements for residential districts from Leslie Hoover at 1355 Meadow Lane. Uh, Denise, do you want to? Sure. Summarize um, your report, please. Yes. Um, Leslie is um, <clears throat> putting a garage um, on, a, it's, it's an addition on our house. Um, the, the actual um, structure that's attached is completely, the building is completely inside the setback area, but the roof overhang um, extends over 22 inches. Um, this is in residential A, so, you know, there is a larger setback in both the front and um, along the side yards, 10 feet on the side, 25 in the front. So it's, it's, a, it's a very small uh, variance request. And, you know, staff says, yeah, as de definitely feels this should be approved. Okay, so uh, does anyone have any questions for Denise? I do. East, was there no way to to build the garage addition without a variance? There is no way to do that without the variance because of the way the code describes uh, setbacks and roof edges. No, I mean, was there no way to to <clears throat> build a garage addition on this property? What's what is it? What is forcing it into it? Well, it's my understanding that um, she, that she needed that amount of space in order to be able to put her car in there. But she's here, so you might want to ask her that question. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm. I guess I, it's hard for me to, to know who I'm talking to. Sure, no problem. Uh, Leslie Hoover. Yeah. So okay, if there's no more questions for Denise, then um, are there any more questions for Denise? Nope. Okay. Um, Leslie, the Leslie, applicants. you're muted. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Leslie, do you yeah, want to add? No. Yeah, I, it says I'm muted on the the Zoom, but I'm on the phone. So um, Denise is right. If we push the garage back um, and to the left as you're looking at the diagram, the front end of the car will run into the house and then, or we won't have enough space than to get two cars in, as our intention is to have a two-car garage. Any other questions for Leslie? I have one. Um, as I read the Exhibit A, the structure walls of the building will be within the property line, but the roof will overhang the property line. Is that what you really mean? That back line. No, uh, that was me filling out the form at the office, and it should have been the setback instead of oh, the property. Okay. Thank you. That sounds much better. Any other questions for uh, for Leslie or, De or Denise?
If there are none, then what we'll do is we'll open the public hearing for comment, and then we'll close that hearing and come back and uh, have further discussion, and then um, um, and then vote on this um, this matter. So um, I'll open the public hearing. Is there anyone there who would like to um, make a comment about this application for a uh, a zoning variance? We have no one in the Zoom right now that isn't just us and the applicants. All right. And Denise, the neighbors were informed? Yes. Pursuant our normal process? Letters were put, were sent um, to abutting and adjacent neighbors, and there is a sign posted in on her property. Okay, very good. Well, if that's the case, then we'll close the public hearing. Um, if there are any other questions for um, the applicant or Denise, if there aren't, um, what we've been doing is using our criteria to go through uh, each applicant. And as soon as I can find those, um, we can start that. Uh, so there are seven standards, eight standards rather. Um, and what we've been doing is going through these one by one and then actually taking a, a, a vote, a voice vote, and, uh, as a kind of way of kind of clarifying our thinking on things, uh, followed by a, uh, um, either a motion or some kind of further discussion. Um, and so we'll start with the first one. And that first one is whether the property in question will yield a reasonable return or whether there can be any beneficial use of the property without the variance. Um, I would want to discuss that. Um, if anyone wants to jump in, feel free. I think we could just move to votes on each of these personally. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Agreed. All right, I like your thinking. Okay. Then I was just gonna suggest that you ask that up front, but everyone has now agreed to that process, so you're, you're good to go. Richard, are you okay with that? Yeah. Tony? Yes. All right. Okay, then I'll go ahead and call call the vote on that on the first condition. Uh, Jacobs. Yes. Pilata. Yes. Zoff. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. Reed. Yes. Okay. All right. The second item is whether the variance is substantial. All right, Jacobs. No. Zoff. No. Pilata. No. Salmonson. No. Reed. No. All right. Third is whether the essential character of the neighborhood will be substantially altered or whether adjoining properties would suffer a substantial detriment as a result of the variance. Salmonson. No. Zoff. No. Pilata. No. Jacobs? You know, 22 inches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Had to be you, didn't it? <laughs> Reed? No. Number four, whether the variance would adversely affect the delivery of governmental services such as water distribution, sanitary sewer collection, electric distribution, stormwater collection, or refuse collection. Zoff. No. Pilata. No. Jacobs. No. Salmonson. No. Reed. No. Number five, whether the property owner purchased the property with knowledge of the zoning restriction. Sorry about that. Jacobs. Yes. Pilata. No. Salmonson. No. Zoff. Yes. Reed. Yes. Okay. Number six, whether the property owner's predicament feasibly can be obviated through some method other than the variance. Pilata. No. Salmonson. Yes. Zoff. Yes. Jacobs. You know, anything that uses the word obviated, I got to vote no on. <laughs> I'm so yes impressed or no. with whoever wrote our code. 
<laughs> oh, this so this isn't us. This is Ohio Revised. Oh, that's true. It's the Ohio Supreme Court. Yep. Okay, I take back. And, I'm still voting yeah. no. Okay. Uh, Reed. No. Okay. Number seven, whether the existing conditions from which a variance is being sought were self-created. Hmm, Jacobs. No. Salmonson. Yes. Zoff. Yes. Pallotta. Yes. Reed. Yes. You know, I would change my vote to yes, too. That's, I think that is the correct vote. You guys convinced me. <laughs> Strong arm tactics. <laughs> wow. I just don't want to be the lone man There's out there. Moving <laughs> orgy. Peer pressure. <laughs> Uh, number eight, last but not least, whether the spirit and intent behind the zoning requirements would be observed and substantial justice done <clears throat> by granting the variance. Pallotta. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Zoff. I'm not sure what that spirit is, but I'll say yes. <laughs> Salmonson. Yes. Reed. Yes. Okay. All right, so we've gone through our eight criteria. Uh, is there any further discussion? And if there's not, would someone care to make a motion? I will move that we grant the variance as requested. I'll second it. Okay. Salmonson. Yes. Zoff. Yes. Jacobs. Yes. Pallotta. Yes. Reed. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good luck with your garage. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck finding materials. Apparently they're scarce. Right. Big time. Thank you. All right. Well, that's the uh, public hearing. Um, the next item on our agenda is agenda planning. Um, so I just wanted to say that um, we will be having the uh, Omar Circle coming back here relatively soon. He, I think, uh, Raven, you had been in conversations with him. He had part of it completed, not all of it, and still waiting on some something, some rain or something to make sure it's working. Well, they confirmed that they installed the gutters. Uh, I spoke with Ruben on the phone maybe two weeks ago now, and I had an email correspondence with Emily uh, and his wife, and she said they would be sending some photos along soon. Um, it is my understanding they have not done every single thing on that list yet, but they have installed gutters. So. They have started on that and I believe they've added downspouts. So hopefully we'll get that soon and we can get that scheduled for mid-October, late October, something like that. Okay. So there might be a meeting in October. Okay. I, I suggest we also put a selection of a chair. Uh, I've been trying to draft Ellis. Matt, after the job you did tonight, it was brilliant. I'm saying we have not voted on I'm this. I'm your chair for life, buddy. No way. I, I had that problem with planning commission, and I don't really relish it. So. How long have we gone without an officially voted in chair? <clears throat> How long has it been? Well, it's not been that long. We, the last we do this last year, and, and Alice just convinced everyone to vote for you in one second, and it was over. You, you keep trying, Matt. Hey, I missed that. I missed that vote. <laughs> was I even there? I, think, I feel like it happened. Oh, no. hey, I can check minutes. I feel so. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> once involved in a situation where no one wanted to be the chair. And the, re, the resolution, and I don't know if this fits within our bylaws, was to have a rotating chair. You just took turns at each meeting because we could do that. everyone was capable of doing the job. No one wanted to do the job. That was one way to get the job done. Well, let me check the charter very quickly. Ooh. I see, yeah, there we go. Been on here this whole yeah, I see he's been here listening to us. He's been lurking. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't uh, get you in the minutes. I, you were... I, was, I was double booked on the Zoom for a minute. 
Okay, I got, I've got you in now. She came in uh, just a few minutes after we started, so. I think it was 7.06. Brian, do you want to explain that? About rotating chairs or not? Well, that's what I'm looking up. Oh, okay. I say, Judy, just picks a number and then we have to all pick a number and see who gets it. Ooh, they're all I like us. <laughs> I like my chances. Okay, so <laughs> section, 60, section 66 of the charter just says the board shall consist of five members, each appointed for a term of five years, um, and appointments shall be made by the council. It doesn't say anything actually about the chairmanship of the board in section 66. So let me look at part two here. It might be just something about boards and commissions in general or something that might, uh, I believe might lay that so. Well, I think if we don't say anything about it, we've got to re de defer to ORC. Am I, am I wrong in that? Well, uh, not necessarily because uh, it's one of those boards that is set up in the charter. But again, it doesn't necessarily say anything about having a chair. Yeah, my, my question on that is because it's a an ORC mandated board, if we don't specify how the chair is selected, I, I would think we'd have to revert to ORC, but that's just a guess. In my limited experience, the Board of Zoning Appeals itself creates its own bylaws. Yes. And yes, and we don't have those. bylaws are the rules about chairing and voting and quorums and, you know. Yes. They may be responsible for your own. mandates that have, that have been made that are you know, set for good standards, but I believe it's up to the, the board itself. If it is. It, it, it says the, the presence of three members shall be a quorum, um, and the Board of Zoning Appeals shall adopt rules and regulations for the conduct of its business consistent with the go. code. So you can have a rotating chair. It doesn't say anything about preventing, um, you know, passing the chairmanship if uh, the board wants to implement that rule, it can. Oh. Let me just, are you looking at our zoning code too? I, I'm looking at 127802. Okay, okay, good. Sounds like a great agenda item. So should we operate on the uh, assumption that we'll, we'll rotate for the time being until somebody tells us otherwise? Is that okay? Yeah. Brianne, are you good? Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right. Do we need to have a vote on that? I I don't see why not. Let's do it. Salmonson. No. <laughs> oh my God, man! I see this coming Dude, at you now. That is the first. <laughs> oh. Reed. I see anyone's got the letter R in their name gets the chairmanship. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were yes. Um, Pilata. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jacobs. Yes. Anzoff. Yes. Now you'll have to tell me as an alternate whether I sit in the queue or not. <laughs> I'm, do not. I'm fine either way. You oh, thanks not. everyone, but Tony. <laughs> 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 Maybe you'll so be I nominated think Tony next gets time. to be the first one to do it. I don't know. I think no. so. Yeah. This is a discussion. It, what was the motion? Rotating chair. Uh, Beginning alphabetically with your first name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know just fell backwards into a coffee shop? <laughs> Finally. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so I will just, um, you know what? I, I'll just draw lots in some weird fashion and uh, assign you accordingly. But, but good. Matt, I'll take you out of the rotation for a while. <laughs> it's amazing how it comes up, Matt Reed, every time. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> weird. Weird. It's just luck. And I take checks. <laughs> how much did these just tickets kidding. cost? <laughs> I well, kid, I joke. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to go into another Zoom meeting of town hall. So, all right. You want to move to? I make a motion. We adjourn. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any other business? If not, I'm sorry. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Opposed? 25. Sounds unanimous, Judy. All right, well, thank you. I'm going to leave. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Thanks, Raven, for Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Raven, for hosting. Thanks, Raven. 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 Thanks,